Let's talk about how to calculate met minutes so that we can figure out the exercise volume per workout and per week. All right, so in order to frame this, I think it's it's always best to have a question. So let's let's start with a question here. So uh, you have your client, Tammy, who you told to avoid increasing her weekly exercise volume by more than 10% per week in order to avoid burnout, you know, overuse injuries, you know, for whatever reasons. These 10% is definitely sort of an upper limit that most people should not surpass. All right, so last week, uh, Tammy exercised for uh, five minutes of exercise intensity for 30 minutes on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This week, she exercised at six minutes for 30 minutes on Monday. She exercised on Wednesday doing five minutes for 25 minutes. And Friday, she did seven minutes for 30 minutes. So she varied it up a little bit this week, unlike last week. All right, so what was her weekly exercise volume in met minutes? Um, and also, did she go over the 10% increase that you told her to avoid? All right, so let's get some calculations going here. So first of all, the per workout met minute uh, equation is going to be the intensity of the exercise in units of METs times the time they spent doing that exercise in minutes. So fairly simple equation. All right, so let's look at her last week. All right, so her last week, um, she did five METs for 30 minutes. Uh, so five times 30 gives you 150 MET minutes per workout. And she did three identical workouts. So we can just multiply that 150 MET minutes by three days and get us 450 met minutes for the week. All right, so that was her weekly exercise volume was 450 met minutes. Um, so this week though, again, she varied it up on this week, unlike last week. Um, so each workout was different. So we need to calculate each workout and then we're gonna be adding them up. All right, so on Monday, she did six met minutes for 30 minutes, so six times 30 equals 180 met minutes for Monday's workout. Wednesday it was five minutes for 25 minutes, giving us 125 met minutes for that workout. And Friday it was seven minutes for 30 minutes, giving us 210 met minutes for Friday's workout. So if we add up the 180, 125, and 210, which is what I'm doing right here, you end up with 515 met minutes for the week. All right, and so Looking from week to week, in last week she did 450 met minutes. This week she did 515 met minutes. All right, so to look at the week to week progression here, we have 515 met minutes this week, 450 met minutes last week. Subtract the two from each other, you get a difference of 65 met minutes worth of an increase from last week to this week. All right, so Let's get that into a percentage format. So uh, 65, which is our difference between the weeks, uh, divided by 450, which is our first week's net minutes, and multiply that by 100 in order to get it to the percentage from a decimal, we end up with an increase of 14.4% from one week to the next. So she went above and beyond the 10% you told her to avoid. So you probably want to have a conversation with her about backing down the exercise a little bit this week to make sure she doesn't end up with an injury or just kind of burn out or some other issue. If you're prescribing exercise in METs, MET minutes is a great way of using that unit in order to track volume. But there's other uses for the unit of the MET as well. We can also calculate calories burned per way workout or for that matter per week. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below to a video where I've already shown how to do that.